Y'all, I'm about to beat my nail tech up. <laughs> Hey yo! This small little thing is fifteen dollars. In Ani, dan da da da. In my mouth. Oh, I'm excited because I'm stunting. Period. Bye. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Talk to y'all to. Talk to y'all tomorrow. What's really cool? It's your girl Ruka, R U K A. But if you're feeling frisky, you can call me Young Roots. And we're back with another vlog. Welcome. If you're new here, get ready for the ride of your life. No, I'm just joking. We on some regular stuff out here, you know what I'm saying? Just real cool, calm, bull bomb and belected. Oh, all right, okay. Uh, it is Tuesday. June 27th. If you're a Houstonian, if you from the H, I'm talking about from the dirty south, then you know June 27th is damn near a national holiday. It is Screw Day, DJ Screw Day. And you know, again, with Big Pokey passing, it's definitely kind of a somber year this year. But um, I'm definitely gonna be jamming my little Kiki, my little Pokey, my, my, uh, my Screw, my Slim. My bun, my UG, everybody from Port Arthur to Beaumont, baby, I'm going to be listening, rapping, and jamming. So shout out to June 27th, shout out to Houston, shout out to DJ Screw J, baby. And this is the start of a vlog, and it's crazy, 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 no Casey and JoJo. I am going to LA this weekend, woo, woo. And I will be bringing my camera, which I am frightened about because airports, I just, mm, mm, mm. I am scared, but as a growing content creator, I got to get out of my, you know, I got to, in order to grow, you got to be uncomfortable, you know, so let me just not be too safe. I need to be, you know, aware, cognizant and cautious, but you know, I need to bloom. I need to grow. So we are going to LA this weekend. Woo -woo. Uh, and so if you're a girl, if you're, excuse me, don't even let me put a gender on it. If you travel, whether you hate traveling or love traveling, you know that that week before and the days leading up to when you fly out is maintenance. It's keeping up. It's maintenance. It's catching up. It's cleaning, cleaning your crib, cleaning yourself, shaving down, getting your appointments in, this, that, and the third. So this is my maintenance week. I have been lazy. I didn't even touch, I didn't even touch a phone yesterday. I didn't even touch a camera yesterday, but I am now going to go get my nails done. My appointment was for 1.30, but she did text me saying that she's running 20 minutes behind. So like, that works for me. I mean, I would rather her tell me that than me come in there and then having to wait. So I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna get my nails done and then tomorrow I will be getting braids. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I will be trying boho braids. Um, Y'all saw in my last vlog that I did buy human hair to put the strings in and it was 80 fucking dollars. It's crazy because I asked my friend, I asked my girl, this guy was like, you use, she said, cause she has boho uh, braids in and her hair is cute as hell. And I was like, who you went to? Da, 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 da. I said, what hair did you use? Because I was still salty that I had to spend $80 for one pack of human hair. And so she was like, yeah, I use human hair. Da, da, da. I said, what was it Milky Way? And she was like, yes. I was like, man, how much was that thing? She said, I got a picture of it. It was like 20 something dollars. I said, oh, I knew I got hijacked. I knew I got hijacked. And um, she sent me a picture of it and it was the human hair master mix. I was like, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is a blend. I'm talking about 100% human hair. So, I think I did. I, I wish it was maybe like 
$1,999 rather than $79.99, but there's no refunds, so I'm, I, I, I can't even be bothered. But yeah, I'm getting my um, hair done tomorrow, and then I'll just be cleaning and packing and trying to find, and trying to condense, because I have, the thing about it is, I want to be a one-stop shop. I want to open up my makeup, and every all of my makeup be there. I don't want to open up my makeup here, and then my brushes are here. I want everything to just be compact, located in one spot, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. That's what I want potentially, 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 potentially. Ah, gosh, golly. Me, I will be fighting with English language to the day that I die. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I need to condense a lot and I need to figure out what I absolutely need to take and what I, I don't absolutely need to take. But the thing about it is, is that I feel like I need everything and then I'll be mad because I underpacked while also packing things that I don't need. It's insane to underpack and also pack things you don't need. It feels like a double waste of time. But again, I've been slacking on that. I might get a Panera charged up lemonade just to get me wired up so I can start on it because I really do need to start and figure out what outfits that I wanna wear. I did get a, PL, a PLT uh, package. One thing about it is, is that I, I did this late and so I had to figure out, okay, I said, what companies have really fast shipping when it comes to Express? And the two things that have really fast shipping, well, let me say three. The three things that have really fast shipping is ASOS, um, Fashion Nova, and Pretty Little Thing. So I chose Pretty Little Thing because I wanted things Pretty Little Thing goes up to 5X, whereas Fashion Nova goes up to 3X. And even though the sizing is ass, sometimes, you know, the hits hits and the misses miss. But it's still cool, 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 cool. So I did get a Pretty Little Thing package and hopefully, hopefully some of those things work out so I can, um, I could put some outfits together. I do want this LA trip to be chill. I don't want to do party, party, another club, another club, another club, party. I don't want to be doing that. I, I, it's not my preference, but again, it's not my trip. So one thing about it, two things for sure. When there's a celebrant in our midst, I try to keep my complaining at a minimum. Because what the, f what are you complaining for? You know what I'm saying? It's not your birthday. It's not your occasion. You're making the situation worse by stressing the celebrant. Shut up. I'm I'm a very big believer in that. If you if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Just go with the flow. If the celebrant wants to be like, guys, I I really just wanna, then you be like, hell, you hype that muck. You hype them up. You do what's necessary in order to make sure that they have a good time and they don't feel like they wasted their money and their energy planning this whole trip. You feel me? That's just my that's just my takeaway. And you better listen to me carefully. Okay? I'm in the mood for something spicy. I'm so hungry. I kind of like want rice and stew. Like smoked turkey stew. Oh, that sounds so good. Yes, but yeah, I'm finna go get my nails done. I don't know if I should do my eyebrows because I just got my eyebrows done. Uh, I don't know, but we'll see because the eyebrow place is like five minutes away from where I get my nails done at. But yeah, it's maintenance week, it's hectic week, it's trying to clean the apartment, it's uh, making sure that all work is caught up on, that way when you leave, people will know what's going on, it's packing and make sure that you have everything, it's relaxing but also stressing, it's getting yourself together. Thank God I don't do lashes like individuals because that would have pissed me off, that would have been another $125 under my belt and I don't have time for that. And then I don't do Brazilians. I just shave my coochie because really one, I'm not having sex with anybody. And two, um, no, no, no. See, see number one, I'm not having sex with anybody. And I understand like some women will say, I don't need to be having sex with anybody to have a uh, good upkeep on my coochie. And for one, I feel that like you, you go girl, you better, you know, have your, um, put you back on auto pay and you make sure that thing gleaming listen i i am with you i want to be right where you are but then again i don't because i don't give a fuck one two my coochie gonna get eight whether it's bushy or smooth so and i just don't be fucking like that no more like i used to like i really used to get my mm, 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 mm. i used to 
and now it's just it's crazy to me because when I turned 30 like it's this year has been the horniest I've ever been I have been honk honk for me I am so grateful to God that I am not a man because I would have been arrested for indecent exposure, for indecency, public indecency. I would have been arrested because I just be horny all the time. And it's crazy because as horny as I am all the time, I cannot be bothered with men. They, man, I'm talking about my, the, the options that I have. I'm not talking about men as a whole. I'm talking about the men that have approached me or have wanted me, they have been so useless. Oh my God. They have been so useless. I can't do anything with them. And I can't be bothered. I simply can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to link up. I can't be bothered today. I can't be bothered to try to see what can, no! Ah! Duh! No. And the ones that I do want, they don't have time for me. Similar to men, women like challenges too. Women like to chase sometimes too. But, bitch, I'm big. Like, I can't chase too long now. I'll go out of breath. And I'll just turn around and get something to eat instead. Get Do something that interests me. You feel me? Mm. But, why did I talk about my horniness? Where did that go? Oh, shaving my coochie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't do lashes. And I don't do Brazilians before leaving for a trip. So, that saves me some funds. But, I definitely do try to get braids every time I travel. And then, of course, I try to get my nails and my toes and my brows done. So, that's maintenance in itself. And then, trying to get new clothing to see what fits I can really stun on in LA. Um, and then, you know, trying to figure out, you know, the weather. What do you need? Do you need a jacket with you? Stuff like that. But, yes, I will see y'all. I'm recording with my phone, so I'll turn my camera on and I will see y'all when I get to Pammy Sweet. Peace! You can change the color. Yeah, to like green. And you know, I don't. I don't no, I don't no know. jewels. No jewels. You know that. Okay, so. There was another one I seen that's kind of like that. Let me show you. So, when I was looking at this, I was basically not looking at the jewels, I was looking okay. at the cell this, itself. Mm hmm. Um. Cause I kind of wanted to do like a green or orange, some another color that I haven't done, okay. or one of those spicy ones that that are iridescent, iridescent like the ones you had. Okay. How do you feel about a vertical ombre? What the fuck does that mean? So. What is a vertical ombre? So you see. Okay, so you see how this is ombre underneath, right? Uh huh. So I can do your a lime green, and then it'll be ombre in the middle into a what's the other color you said? Orange. orange but it so, doesn't have to be those colors it just i wanted to try another color that i haven't tried before right 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 yeah, yeah. okay so when i say vertical ombre i mean like i basically paint half of this uh -huh. your green uh -huh. and half of it orange and i take a brush and i oh. mix it into where it's literally melting like that's kind of cool and then and Let then I, a chrome I, box and then i ombre it and then with the the lines with this this line type of line work that's I'll do line I work like and then that. chrome it out. Yeah, I like that. But with that chrome, I would much rather keep it a very light gold mm -hmm. or silver. Since yeah, you have that uh, crazy color. exactly. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. That? Mm -hmm. okay. I love that. Okay, or let me see what if I can think of something else. Um, that should sound fine. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and then you said you want to see my. Do you still want to see my chrome box? Mm -hmm. I need to order more. Actually, should. Cause that iridescent one got me going. Oh, the iridescent. I need a so I, okay. man. I need something else like okay, that. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so that's the only one I have that really reflects Ooh. different colors. Cause the other ones are pretty much just solid. So let me think. We could do a um. I thought you had a holographic one. Do I have a holographic one? Like oh, yeah, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's fire. But I'm with whatever you with, honestly. Um, I just want color on my shit. You want color? This I don't time. want. Yeah, I'm going to LA. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. On Thursday. Thursday to Monday. Were you just going for vacation? No, it's, it's my friend's birthday. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a part of vacation too. Hey, yeah. Okay, let me think. Let me think before we start talking. Oh, cause bitch, you know, you I'm I'm gonna have to turn this off. You know what I'm here for. 
<laughs> I'm not playing with you. I no. As a matter of fact, let's think first before I get on your ass. Let's think. Let's think. <laughs> Cause you know I'm finna say it. You look good. You look white. I think so. Yeah. Probably. How was her what? To figure out what okay, are we that's doing? What, what are we saying? doing? Yes. Figure it out first. Okay. Okay. All right, 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 right. Hold on. Okay. How about? Wait. I and have your a... voice is gone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Celeste. Okay. The or orange chrome I do have is this one. Yeah, I saw that one last time, and I like it. Or stop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop. We ooh, can do ooh. this. Wait. Stop, stop, stop. it. Oh. <laughs> you know what comes to you? Okay. Or. We can do an or a neon orange. You like neon? I do. Okay, a neon orange ombre, right? Mm -hmm. And then I can do line work with green. Lime green, top, yes. Right? That's gonna give tropical right? yes, fruity. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, yes, yes, yes. 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 I'm about to beat my lip nail took up. <laughs> I'm about to beat this bitch up, bro. She's doing her job a little bit too well, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> it's pissing me off. You know how like when. When you're getting a service done, you know, it feels kind of like therapy. You feel like you're friends with somebody for real. But in reality, it's just a business transaction. No, no, no. This bitch is about to get beat up. Like, she's in my life now. You know when you're like, it's Christmas time, you give you give out turkey? She would get a turkey, bro. She would get a turkey. Because she's doing freestyles. Because she said freestyles $100 this week. So, you know, I had to hop on that. And I came in here, I was like, I just want a little bit of color. But, you know, I fuck with chrome. So, do anything that you want with some chrome. Right. I know y'all see a little bit now, but I'm not going to show you the final product until the final product done. So she's like, let me really think about it. And she come up with an idea. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay. I'm with whatever you with. She put the chrome on just now. Speechless. I'm, I'm about to come. <laughs> y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. I just had to come on here and talk that if you see Pammy with a black eye, just okay. know that my excitement was so much through the roof that I choked her out. Oh my she goodness. she put up a good fight, but I choked her out. I had to. <laughs> because that's the only way I can express how I feel about my nails right now. And I told y'all I'm going to LA, so I'm trying to be real tropical with it. You feel me? Look at her. Look at her working. Look. Look at her working. Mm -hmm. For all you motherfuckers that don't know how to do your job, take a lesson from Pammy. Do your fucking job. Do your fucking job. That's and and then you'll have clients like this. Girl getting on camera saying this shit. I'm about to nut. No, it's super cute. Like I'm actually. I was really kind of I was like, man, orange and green, that's a little bit. I am And the green is the perfect color. I'm actually shocked it could turn out this. It turned out mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. I think it's the ombre that's hitting too. Yeah. Well, I think it's a color combination too. Ah! I love it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take pictures of these. Now, I'm not even gonna come in with an idea. You can always, you know, I, you know. I'll have a few. A good, but a good amount of my clients come in with no idea. We just always come up with something. I usually have something on my phone. Fuck it. Yeah, they. I mean, of course, like off top, like they don't just when they first met me, they don't do that, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. after, after, I think after about like the third, fourth time I've touched that client, I kind of get a just uh, what you like. like. Yes. So whenever I do, I don't do normally do freestyles on new clients just because like you, yeah, I've had yeah, yeah. experiences where it's like you ask for a freestyle, but every time I show you something, you don't it's like, like it. uh, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. It's like okay, well, bitch, you just asked for a fucking. <laughs> So it's not a freestyle. So what do you want? <laughs> Show me a picture. <laughs> like facts. So yeah. So I don't do freestyles on the clients. Not so sure. You have a soda. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the, um, what type of nail tech you got? <laughs> no, cause you bitches look y'all ain't. Oh man. Okay. To get. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Together, 
Ooh. Wait, no, 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 no. Ruka, what's, what's your coat? Much better. Wait, so when you do YouTube, you do it like this, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Don't even worry about that. Get the angle. No, no I need a picture here. Okay. Sorry, this probably gonna be a really long video. Oh, that's what I need. Okay, move this finger up a little bit. Alright. Get the fucking angles, Pammy. Uh, shit, what Fire. are you doing? Period. <laughs> No, I, I kind of like my voice like this. Me too. <laughs> it's, it's giving like boss me. bitch. <laughs> it's giving no fuck with me. Oh my god, that's funny. Ah, Tammy, you ate. I'm so happy. That is hot as hell. See, I'm balling, I'm balling, I'm balling for two. Can y'all really just see? Oh my gosh, I love my nails. They're like simple, but not simple. Like, I love chrome. If you don't know nothing else about me, chrome on my nails is where I'm trying to be. Okay? And uh, look at them it, glowing in the dark. Like, a fan. I think I'm going to go to Suya Hot because I want something spicy. And it's 4 o'clock, so traffic is about to be a doozy. So I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go to Suya Hot. I'll see y'all when I get there. I'm at, I'm at the Suya, Suya stop. I've been here a couple of times before. It's not as good as Asuma, but I'm already in the, in the city, so. Mm -hmm. This is our premium platinum coverage map, and this is consumer cellulose map. I don't see the difference to you. Well, that one's purple. Yep, the exact same coverage is there. How you doing? Yeah. Um, what did you say? Did you say 10? Oh, 20. May I um, have $20 to ya and $15 Asa? It's five, six, six, I know. Without the ones like you working tirelessly to keep things running, yes, ma'am. Is there a wait time? Uh, okay. Do you guys think you need to sign? Thank you. I wonder if there's a Starbucks close by. I would prefer, I would, I would, I would like me a, a strawberry acai. You know, a strawberry acai. Oh, I'm sorry, my nails. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but yeah. I will say one thing about having this camera is that uh, oh, I'm gonna have to turn the heat on in this motherfucker cause hell no, it's hot than a bitch. It's hot than a bitch. My body will all on TV. One thing about having this camera, especially when going into public spots, is that people either love it or hate it. That's number one. Number two, and the main one that I'm seeing is that businesses and their customer service, they tend to go up. Like they tend to try to impress you because they know that you're recording. And I like that, I can't lie. I do because being who I am and how I look, I receive I receive service regular service I wouldn't say like oh they they oh uh, they did this because I'm big or I'm black I wouldn't say I get that often I've have I have gotten that before but now oh it's just it's just I see them perk up a little bit I see like they feel like they are being held at an expectation now like they're um, repping something and I like that cuz like yeah look at the camera 
You don't know what I'm recording. You don't know what I'm finna do. You know what I'm saying? So figure it out and make sure you give me good service before I get this hard recording and I slash you out. Now, I don't have that much influence yet, but best believe when I do and I don't like something like that Chipotle worker. I'm still on your head, boy. This shit was $40 and it feels light as fuck. This is the suya. It says this is $20 and then I got also. If you don't know also, ah, uh, this this is $15. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. This small little thing is $15. Of also. Ooh. She was saying it's spicy. What's spicy about it? The last time I came to so yeah, stop. I wasn't impressed. I don't know why I came back again. They add too much curry into, in, into this one. Why is it yellow? So yeah, I should be red. <clears throat> All I'm smelling is curry. It's okay, though. Dry. I love soya too much, but. I don't need to come back here. I'm okay. It's okay, Joe. I'm not begging to have more. There's this place. There's this place right across the street that I want to try, but I've already spent too much money today. So I'll be going home. Toodles. for me, you know, that passion and that fear 
or failure along with feeling undeserving while you guys are supporting me or showing me that I am indeed deserving uh, definitely overwhelms me. Um, it just it just made me feel I don't know, but it was it was a an indescribable indescribable emotion, and um, I just really had to pray on it and just sit still in it. So um, I'm appreciative of everyone who who speaks life into me and who appreciates me. Uh, who doesn't try to change me or suggest changes to me because I'm too rough around the edges or I'm too vulgar or too raw because if you are an OG and if you've been with me like you said you've been with me I speak about this often I speak about my rawness and what I'm perceived as often and I've also spoken about how although I'm perceived as such I'm not going to change shit forehead being so damn big but I think because I've been covering it up or am I is my hairline receding what y'all think ooh look at your forehead big dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyways y'all what's really good what's really good today is Thursday June 29th it is the day before I leave for LA I did get my hair done I did get um Boho knotless braids. Um, I don't think I'll be getting the style again simply because it's very. I think that braids are supposed to be low maintenance, but with the human hair pieces intertwined with them, you want to make sure that they don't look too rat, you know, ratty or raggedy. And I, I didn't think I don't think I have time for that. So I love them. I think they're so cute. I didn't know my forehead was this big. Oh my gosh. But I love them. I think they're so cute. But I don't think I'll be getting them again. Unless like 
the braiding hair is human as well as the human hair pieces. I am excited. I am also very, very behind. I had like a whole checklist of what I was supposed to do this week in order to not be behind today. But lo and behold, your girl is still behind. So I will be like, um, I don't really need anything, thank goodness. I just need like, you know, makeup wipes and like wipes themselves. But I don't think I need anything else for real. Uh, so I'm just gonna go get my dry cleaning, get those last few minute items, and then um, come in here to clean and pack. Uh, and then I'm off, so that's exciting. So after today, I will start the uh, weekend vlog, which will be a weekend travel vlog. So I know this comes out on Thursdays and my weekend vlogs come out on Sundays. So I hope y'all are excited, cause I am. I can't stop looking. And my forehead. Oh my gosh, look where my hair starts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, yeah. But, you know, long hair always makes me do this. You know what I mean? Like, what you said? What happened? No. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, uh... oh yes, that's what I was gonna say. Yes, 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 yes. So I felt overwhelmed with love from the how much do I make on YouTube video. Y'all showed me so much love and um, I wasn't expecting it because I speak like that on my channel often. I want, I believe that the table is big enough for everybody to have, not only have a seat, but eat endlessly. And, you know, I also believe that as much as passionate as I am and as much as I want to make it, there's a very great possibility that I won't. Even if you all speak life into me, I speak life into to myself. I pray to God about it. Sometimes, you know, your passion doesn't align with your purpose. I do believe that my purpose aligns with my passion, which is just to help and to, um, to bring light into people's worlds. That's my purpose, that's my passion. But I do know that, you know, there's there's a possibility that it won't work. So when you guys speak life into me, it overwhelms me. And I don't think my comments encompass how I truly feel, which is just really grateful for you guys. Also, when I get to the point that I hope I get to, um, I've said this before, but I want to do a giveaway where I give away a camera, a Sony ZV-E10 camera. I wanna give away a camera with you know a battery pack and a tripod, just a whole set, um, because I believe that, you know, people psych themselves out and they say, yeah, you know, they're saying that I should just start with my phone, but I want to deliver quality and this, that, and that. You know, they, you know, people, including myself, we always give ourselves excuses to not start something, um, especially when we're sensitive about our craft. So I want to hopefully uh, be able to just be like, you know what? I'm giving away a camera, you know, because these cameras are expensive. Even if they're on, they're on the more affordable side of things, they're still expensive. So um, when I received all that love, it just reaffirmed that I can't wait to be in that space to where I'm able to do that for someone because I would have wanted someone to do that for me. But also I do have a small little community of people who support me and people who are in this industry themselves um, that support me and show me love to where I feel like I can do this. So I really did want to come on here and say that I'm truly humbled by the people who not only show me love, but speak life into me. It it means more to me than you than you can ever imagine. It, it, it fuels me. It helps me. It helps me continue. It helps me kind of like reaffirm my passion and my position because like I said, I took a two year break and I didn't know I was going to come back. And it wasn't, I didn't come back because of when are you coming back to YouTube? When are you coming back to YouTube? People are asking me. It didn't come back because of that. I came back because um, I had something to say. And I thought I would come back doing makeup vlogs again. Uh, or just, you know, talking my shit. But people were like, why don't you just do vlogs? We would love to see a day in your life. I said, I'm boring. I don't do shit. 
they said, we don't care. And that alone just let me know that, you know, just me living my life, just me living, just me being who I am is enough. And I need people to know that being who they are is enough. It's enough. And so I just, I, you know, I had that on my heart yesterday and I just wanted to come on here and just, you know, just thank you. You know, as a growing content creator, um, I don't want to be premature with how I move, like, but I need people to know on the ground level how much I appreciate them. So, salute to you. There's this place that I used to go to when I used to live out in Louisville. <clears throat> they have cronuts. And cronuts are my jam. Cronuts are just, uh, they're just croissant donuts. Do you not have the cronuts? Cronuts? And the glaze? You sold out of glaze? Yeah, we have all the sugar and the chocolate donuts. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Disappointed. This is fucking pointed. Never mind. I'm not gonna lie. That croissant thing pissed me off. I was looking for a forward to those croissant donuts. And they didn't even have them. They didn't have shit. They didn't even have glazed donuts. They didn't even have donut holes. Let's all be for real here, please. I'm so fucking mad. But anyway, I'm at uh, Walmart trying to get my, um, those little trial, what is it, travel size? I knew it. You know what I don't like? And I fucking knew it. I knew they turned this hoe around. They look different in here. You know what I don't like? I don't like when. I don't like the Wal I don't like how Walmart is turning the. I need a. Uh, I need a Celsius. <gasps> oh damn. I don't see it Celsius. I don't know how people drink Red Bull. Okay, well, they ain't got what I'm looking for. I'll go to the gas station. But yeah, I, <laughs> I told y'all, my mind is just. I don't like how uh, Walmart now is separating like the groceries from personal care. Like I want to get my oranges and I want to get my shampoo in the same area. I don't want to have to walk. You know what I'm saying? That's annoying. All right. Oh, Dove got hand sanitizer. Love that. We'll take eight hour moisturization. What's this one? Lavender and chamomile. What is this? This is fun. This is funky. But it looks like it'll break right in my bag. Oh, they got the EOS. Hydrating hand sanitizer. What's this? Oh, coconut waters. That's not gonna fit. Nice though. Okay. So I need travel stuff. I got EOS shave cream, but not the lotion. What you showing me for then? Hmm? What you showing me for then? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. This is always needed. They do not flush. Mm -mm -mm. I should have got a should have got a cart. We had six percent, but Oh, uh, I'm about to start packing. Packing is time consuming because I don't know what the hell I'm packing for real. And I don't want to overpack just to not wear half of the things that I pack. So I really need to be conscious of this. So I I DK if I'm going to record it because I do also want to watch TV. Anyways, 6%. I bought this last week. Y'all saw it in a vlog that I just dropped today. I bought this and I did not try it with you guys. I bought this, crumble cookies, the moonshine pineapples. I didn't try none of it. Oh, this hole just opened like that. Okay. So this is the whip shots. This is vodka infused whipped cream. It's ultra premium vodka with natural and artificial flavors and caramel coloring. And it's 10% alcohol. Ooh la la. Okay, does it say shake? It says do not refrigerate. Um, whip it sweet. It says slap it. Turn upside down and give it a flute a few slaps with the palm of your hand. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Got too into it. And then it says shake it upside down and shake side to side for 30 seconds. Oh, I, I removed the cap prematurely. Okay. Okay, this cap. Okay. Um, This cap probably will fall off. Shake it upside. Keep it upside down and shake side to side. Okay. Shake it. And she gonna shake it. Like a red nose, like, 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 like a red nose. She gon' shake it like a red nose, and like it, like a, like a red nose. All right, remove cap, whip it for best spray performance. Turn upside down and press the nozzle at an angle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, press upside down in my mouth. have alcohol it would be phenomenal whipped cream it is thick it's creamy and it's very very tasty it's very very vanilla -y. however that vodka oh my gosh it is so strong oh dear ah like and I don't IDK about dairy and liquor hard liquor being infused together but I was seeing it on TikTok and Twitter saying it was so good. And it is so good. However, it, I think that I would use it like for game nights as a dare or like as a punishment. Like if you lose a game, you have to take a whip of that. You know what I mean? Like, but I wouldn't just be like, oh, I have whip shots and just, I mean, if I'm making like a, a, a naked lady, what's the... Pink, a pink panther, what's it called? The one where you put ice cream in it? If I'm making that, then I would use that, but. Ooh, wee! Ooh, wee, baby. That's hot stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad I tried it. And I was, it was so crazy because I was gonna get two. I was gonna get this one and the vanilla. I'm so glad I just got this one. 
ultra premium vodka, huh? Ooh, like I literally, I may be a lightweight, psych, but I literally feel it. Literally, literally, I feel it. Like I'm like, ooh, three more shots of those. Oh my god! See, see, I told you I was feeling it. Yeah, but let me start packing. So what I want to do is I she sent an itinerary, so I want to like. Boom, boom, boom. For this event, I'm going to wear this. For this, I'm going to wear this. That way, I can kind of get the main outfits. And then I'll just put, like, a little bit of shirts and a little bit of... Just to even it out. Just in case we, like, you know, chill or we need to do something different. You know what I mean? So, um, I need to do that. Then I need to pack my makeup. And I need to make sure I don't forget anything. I need to pack my uh, toiletries, my sunglasses, my shoes, my panties. And my camera stuff. Yeah. Fuck you me. Yeah, let's get to it. I need to charge this battery too. Alright, so I have my shoes packed. I'm only staying for two days. So I get there tomorrow at 7. So technically it's Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. And then Monday, I leave in the morning. So it's like two and a half days. So I'm thinking six to eight outfits. In theory, because I'm going to re, um, re-wear some of the things. So when I pull in at seven, seven in the evening, she stated that we're going to go to a rooftop hotel. So rooftop hotel, I'm thinking shorts and a cute top, right? Half of these things y'all have already seen already. So I'm either gonna wear um, these shorts, the shorts that I got from Fashion to Figure, or I'm gonna wear these fringe jeans that I got from, um, oh no, I didn't get these shorts from Fashion, oh I did. And I got these jeans from Fashion to Figure too. So both of these are from Fashion to Figure. They are safe options, I've worn them. I like how they look on my shape, so. These are what I'm going to pack for bottoms. I'm also going to try to use the packing cubes that I got from Temu. So they uh, sent me some packing cubes. And these seem to be like game changers. So it comes with like a small thing. Uh, I think this is a shoe thing. It comes with a lot of small bags. It comes with this. It comes with this, it comes with this. So maybe I'm not gonna use these because <laughs> one pair of jeans will, will cover this whole thing. So yeah, I'm gonna wear either one of those and then I'm gonna wear my handy dandy, um, this is a wraparound top. I wear this with everything because it accentuates my waist and kind of gives me a little waisty. So I'm gonna pack this. I usually don't like halter tops, but I like this one due to like the fabric of it. Um, it's just a halter top that I got from, where did I get this from? Rep Dolls. I got this from Rep Dolls. And it's really cute. And because I have long braids, you know, because I don't like my back rolls just to be out. So because I have long braids, I'm going to pack it just in case the weather's, I need to check the weather. That's something I need to do. So I'll either wear that top, the black top, or I'll wear this, this top here. Uh, fashion and figure, you need to sponsor me because obviously I'm in love with y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this top, this backless top as well because I have long braids and I can do that. So um, I'm gonna pack this for Friday night and I'm gonna pack these pants as well. So these pants are from Target. Um, I can wear that with the green top that I just showed you guys. I can wear it with the halter top I just showed you guys. Or, uh, damn. I can wear it with this blue top that I got from Shein, which is cute to me. Uh, and it's made with this fabric that clings to me, which I like. So, yeah. I might, you know, it, it gives me options. And even if I don't wear it Friday night, I can wear some, like these pants and that halter to like 
a beachy scene. You know what I'm saying? So Saturday, she said that the, we're going on a hike. I'm not doing that. Um, I'll just probably sleep in because I'm not doing that. Then we're going to go get brunch. So I'm going to pack my cargos. And I know what you're thinking. Ruka, you should do the hike. You should do the hike. It's going to be beautiful. Nah. Because one, you have to pick and choose. And for one, I'm not trying to slow nobody down. Two, the day seems like it's about to be packed. Three, I don't want to waste luggage space packing something when I know this is not. Maybe I should just pack it like this. Yeah. I'm going to crinkle these. It's making me mad. Yeah, I'm not going to pack and waste luggage space on something that I know I don't want to do, you know? So, yeah. So I'm going to pack those cargos, and then I'm going to pack this shirt. I can't wait to wear this in L.A. Ah! This shirt is from Fashion Nova, so I'm going to wear these with the cargos. I think that's fitting. So I can wear this, and she said she wants to go to the dunes, you know, where um, Insecure was shot, where Issa stayed. She wants to wear, she wants to go there, and she wants to just do some touristy shit. So I think that'll be cute. But um, I'm gonna also pack this little top, just in case, you know, I want to switch it out, but still wear the same thing. And again, this may go with other things, other outfits. You know, I can interchange them. Then. If we go to the beach, I'm going to wear this little two-piece set. I've worn this already, um, but I didn't get no pictures in it, so did I really wear it? Okay, so I'm going to wear this, and I think I, I've worn this already. I like the way it looks on my body, and it comes with this, so um, yeah. going to do it like that. It even still has my perfume on it. And if we go to the beach, I'm gonna wear all black. I don't have a bathing suit, but I know I'm not gonna get in the water, but I also know I wanna look cute. So I'm gonna wear this top. Um, I got this from Shein. I like the way my breasts look in it. So that's if we go to the beach. And then I got this skirt from Pretty Little Thing. And I like the way it looks on me as well. And I'll just wear like some shapewear underneath because obviously it is see-through. But yeah, I haven't worn this yet and I've been wanting to wear it. So I'm going to wear that. And then um, I'm just going to pack like these. These sheer because just in case I'm not comfortable, you know. Um, so I'll just wear these instead because I know what this looks like. Again, when you know what something looks like, you should pack it just for safety. And then I'm going to pack an extra pair of shorts. Y'all seen the shorts from Fashion and Figure? I'm going to pack these um, just in case, you know, I want to change out of stuff. So, yeah. And then for dinner, for dinner, she told us to wear browns, neutrals, or animal print. So, I'm going to wear this top. I got from Fashion Nova. It's backless, but I have braids, so my rolls won't be too, too in the way. With this French skirt from Shein, I think that'll be cute. If not, I have two skirt options. I have that one, and then I have this one that I got from Reb Dolls. So I could wear this or that one. And again, I'm packing to be interchangeable. And then I have some lingerie that I could wear as a top. We've been there before. Come on, let's stop, let's stop playing. So I'm going to either wear this with this, this gold skirt I just showed you or my camos. Which are these. And if I don't wear this fit, I'll wear it to the comedy club. Um, she was talking about. So, you know, I'm going to pack. One thing I'm going to do is pack my cargoes, okay? 
Let me see how if this is making sense. Okay. The luggage is still could still hold some hold some weight, so that's good. So yeah. If and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this. This is a feather top that I got from Shein, and I can interchange this with something. So I could wear that. I want to bring this top so bad. It's a denim. It's a crop denim shirt. I want to bring it. I love it. I want to bring it, but I don't know if it'll go with anything. I'm going to bring it, though. Because it might. It might go. <laughs> okay. It might. So I'm going to bring this, too. And then for backup, because this is my favorite skirt ever, I'm going to bring this. Just for backup, just in case. You know what I mean? Because I packed a lot of things that can be interchangeable, I think the last like full outfit I'll bring is my handy dandy um, trousers that I always wear everywhere. Praying that these never get a hole in them because... Um, I just washed them too, so I'm gonna bring that and I'm gonna bring this top that I just wore to the art show. I like the way it look and it's very like linen-y, so it's like very soft. So um, I could wear that with the top, I mean with the slacks I just showed you. And then I'm gonna bring my nightgown and makeup dress. That's what I do with my makeup in. You can't forget that. And I'm gonna bring my robe. I'm gonna bring my robe. I think I'm gonna bring like my black shorts too. I'm packing. This doesn't look like I'm packing like Jesus. What we got? Okay, I think I can pack just a few more items. This is how it's looking. <laughs> it's looking, it's looking like a lot. But I just want to be sure that I have enough. You know what I mean? Because I hate looking dumb. One thing that I hate looking is stupid, foolish. So, I would rather look unfoolish, Ashanti, than foolish, Ashanti. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Gonna carry these and just a few extra shirts. And then I think we'll be fine. And then I'll I'll uh, I'll pack my um, my shorts. So, cause I also have to pack the fit that I'll be wearing to the airplane on Monday. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I'm only staying, you know. But you can't be too careful, cause you can't like be like, oh, let me go home and change. You know what I'm saying? And then um. I'll be wearing these cargos. Either these cargos. Should I wear these cargos? Cause I can wear my sweats. And I know my sweats will get me. I'ma just wear these. Just wear these, get me going. Cause I'm definitely wearing my Crocs to the airport. Like, when I say definitely, I'm not playing games. I mean, definitely. And then I think that's good because I'm going to be wearing sweats to the airport anyway. So let me make sure that I have enough fits for what was given. Young Rukas on the road. Young Rukas on the road. Young Rukas on the road. And I finna give some fun soon. Guess the f what? We got another package, huh? We got another package, huh? And we gonna see what was inside. I wanna preface this by saying that I know what's inside. Um, and I am not where I want 
to be financially because where I want to be financially is that I enter any mall, whether it's Dubai, whether it's Lenox, whether it's West Oaks Mall. I enter any mall I want and I buy designer everything. But I don't have designer money at the moment, but I do claim that. Ooh, shut up. I do claim that. However, although I don't have designer, because some people will be like, if you don't have designer money, that means that you shouldn't have, you shouldn't even go out of your way to buy fake designer. And I'm one of those people that don't agree. If you want to buy fake designer, buy it all. Now, will that stop people from making fun of you? Oh, that girl, she wear fake stuff. If you care about it, please. If you don't care about it, please. That's your business. Me? I don't give a... Because what? Who gonna be my eyes? What did Key Sweat say? What did Key Sweat say? Nobody. And who gonna be my ass? Nobody. So, with that being said, this ain't from DH Gate, though, but... This is from TickHub. So TickHub contacted me and they were like, hey, can we send you a bag? I said, oh, for sure. Um, and she said, oh, go and pick. I looked at the selection, I said, oh, you're one of those. Absolutely. I said, what you need me to do? She was like, all I need you to do is just let them know who we be. I said, oh, say less. So, ooh, <laughs> hey, yo. Now they come in the box, boy. Now they come in the box, boy. Oh, no. I'm wearing this to the airport tomorrow. Please. Ooh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. This is fire. <laughs> when I get the real thing, I hope it makes me this happy. Okay. Back. So we finna open this bad boy. Ooh, that's a dust bag. So this is the uh, handle. Ooh, that's a dust ah! bag. No! It come with the... No! 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 Damn. These nails gonna be the death of me. No, it comes with <laughs> it comes with a bag and it comes with the credentials. Hey yo, yes sir. Who gonna check me, boo? Who will? No, it comes with a receipt. <laughs> no, nobody will check me ever in this life. Are you dumb? It says I got it from Dior Hong Kong. Are you insane? Do you think I'm playing with y'all? <laughs> That's lit. And then this is the bag. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, it is so cute. Ah! Okay. Um, if y'all know, I already have. This is one of the. This is one of the bags that I I really want. So I already have a, uh, a dupe. I already have a Dior dupe, but I wanted another one. Oh, this one is fire though. This one's way better than the one, the Fior that I have. Ooh, ooh wee, and it's packaged right, baby. Hmm. This pack is right. Oh, this saran wrap is on here tight, boy. Dang, it's sticking to me. Oh, this is, this is quality, y'all. <laughs> this a dope, bitch. Mm, and it smells like quality. Yo, this is insane. This is insane how good this looks. Oh, the magnet is the strap. Oh, bitch. <laughs> I, I'm a little shook at how, how 
how quality like this is. This is insane. Like, oh baby, I might have to, I might have to lie and say this is real. I might have to. And then, uh, this is the strap. Cause, you know, this don't fit over my big ass arm. The saddlebag. It don't go all the way up. It don't go like, you know, look. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be humble with that. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta come to terms with that right now. But it has, damn, they tight, this shit tight. They say, y'all not getting into this. Okay, hold on. Y'all, I'm shook about the quality of this bag. Like, it has the Dior, like the small details in it is unbelievable. Like, it, the quality of this bag, I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna have to tell people it's real. Like, I don't have any other choice. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be like, when people are like, oh my gosh, Ruka, is that Dior? I have no choice but to say yes. Like, no choice. And you don't think I'm taking this to Cali with me? It came, it came at the perfect time. I'm taking this to Cali with me. In my dust bag. What are you saying? What are you saying? In my dust bag. All right. Oh, let's see what I did. Let's keep it all the way a stack. Let's keep it all the way a stack. Oh, baby. Baby. Hmm. With, with the receipt? What'd that say? Right. What'd that say? Right. What'd that say? Right. And I got the, the bow, the ribbon that they tie they, uh, badge with? What'd that say? What'd that say? What'd that say? One thing I want y'all to do is stop playing with me. The choppers is gonna know that this is that this is a dupe. Everybody else, everybody else, I'm tagging Dior. What is you saying? When I post and I when I when I hit this when I hit this when I hit this and I do a look away. Who I'm tagging? Who I'm tagging? Huh? Tick up. The quality of the bag that you sent me is out of this world. I am so impressed by the quality of this bag. So much so that I think it fell off the Dior, the Dior 18 Willow. I think it fell off the truck and y'all took it and y'all left with it. That's how much I feel. I feel like this is the real deal, Holyfield. Thank you. Thank you, Tickle. Thank you. Cause I'ma be flexing, flexing. Thank you, Abdi. I'ma be flexing in this. If you see me in LA with this bag, mind your business. Because I'm stunting. Period. Bye. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Each day out my window, I wonder as she passes by. Hey! We're going to start this morning off by singing Session 32 by Summer Walker. Please sing with me. It is Friday. So we're going to sing about love. <clears throat> Through a love letters, I... Thought it made me feel better. I finally got you out my pain, but I still can't get you out my head. Mm -hmm. I'm sending you one text at a time. I know you by your phone, so boy, pick up your line. 
and I ain't too proud to pay. So what's been said has been said. Mm -hmm. And I need you to know you don't know what I mean. And I need you to know mm -hmm. you don't know. And you don't know what love is if you don't put a put fight. You don't know what love is if you don't stay up all night. Boy, if you don't know what love is. What's really good, Young Choppers? It's your girl, Young Rooks. It's your girl, Young Rook. It's your girl, Young Rook. It's Friday, June 30th, and I'm off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. I'm going to LA. And I am currently cleaning my apartment. It's the last thing I need to do. I am fully packed. I'm fully ready to rumble. So now I am on my way and I'm going to pack you up. I'm going to pack you up. I'm going to pack you guys up soon. So that way I don't forget you. But yes, I'm excited. You know, if you see my other travel vlog when I travel to Seattle and Georgia, I hate airports and I hate planes just because, you know, Big bitch, big bitch issues, you know, just navigating through it, stairs, continuous stairs, glares even, um, you know, people looking, where's she going to sit? Who going to sit by her? It's just, I'm not a fan of it, you know, I don't, it doesn't deter me from doing what I need to do because I'm going to get on the plane whether y'all like it or not, but, you know, I just, I don't care for airports or planes and their recycled air and but I do I, I, I really do appreciate my ginger ale. I don't mind that. I love I, I love my little biscuit, my little my little pretzels and my little ginger ale. Uh, I, I, I don't mind it. But yeah, I'm fully packed. Um I haven't shaved so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna shave um just wash just clean my what I really need to do is sweep and mop and those are the People be like, oh, my, the worst chore I hate to do is the dishes. Me, I hate sweeping and mopping because I feel like when I sweep and then like I, I do a test where I take off my shoes and I walk and I still feel debris underneath my soles. Oh, it makes me hungry. I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like when I'm sweeping and I'm sweating. Just for there to be dust bunnies on, on something or crumbs on something, it's as if I didn't sweep at all. I don't like it. So, I've been procrastinating on that. And I don't want to wash my tub just for me to shave my coochie and all the hairs. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, like, why am I really shaving my coochie, though? Because I ain't really getting you no know, deep. But then again, it's like, you shouldn't equate you having a freshly glistening pum pum to you only shaving it or you only cleansing or you only I mean are you only waxing it for the possibility of coitus but then again <laughs> but then again also 
one more thing before I get off of here and conclude this vlog. And so we can get into the weekend. Um, how much time has passed? Oh, okay. When I make a, a statement or I make a point or I speak or, you know, open up the floor to discussion, I don't mind opposing opinions. I don't mind them at all. However, if you feel so passionate about a topic that I'm speaking on, I really suggest that you make a video yourself. You go and you press record and you give your uh, perspective about a situation that you feel passionate about. If you see me on Twitter and I'm tweeting one side of something and you feel like you're on the opposing side, don't come on my tweet and discuss with me. Discuss with you and discuss with yourself and your peers on your side of the, the Twitterverse. I just find it so odd that we can't have, you know, healthy discussion without somebody going out of their way to immediately try to insult somebody. Once you feel like you can't get your point across to the point where you need to insult somebody, you've lost. Yeah. Ow, that hurt. You've lost. You've lost, <laughs> you lost, you've lost the plot. And so instead of doing all of that, take your wrong opinion on the other side over there. Take it over there, discuss it amongst you and your wrong peers and leave me out of it. You know, leave me out of it. But yes, y'all, I'm gonna continue to clean and then I am going to bathe, shave, and then head out the door. <laughs> and um, I'm excited, because I haven't been to LA in a year, more, over a year and a half actually. And I wanna see what we do. So, yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe, you know, People tend to tell me every time I drop a video, You're, you need to work on your profanity. You need to work on your vulgarity. So I'm going to, I'm just going to let you know that if you do choose to subscribe, which I hope you do, I'm going to cuss. I'm going to be loud when I feel passionate or animated or angry about something. And I'm going to use a multitude of expletives. And I hope that does not deter you from having fun on this side. This side is fun. This side has color. You know, everybody wants to be neutral and nude. No, 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 no. We're oranges, we're yellows, we're blues, we're greens, we're purples, we're pinks. Okay? So, please, if you feel, if you feel the spirit move you, subscribe. OG Choppers, y'all already know that on Sunday, y'all gonna see me again. And when y'all see me, I'm in LA. Ah! So, we're excited about that. And so, I hope you guys run the numbers up. We're on the road to, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers by December 2nd. So, I hope you do that for us. And I'll see y'all in, in, I'll see y'all in LA. Bye!